What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 MT as well as NFL 20 Muck Coins, please go to DVDJ.com, link will be in the description, use code BUGS for 10% off at checkout. What's good YouTube, it's your boy BUGS back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video, and guys, today, um, honestly, just got on the game, I'm gonna be completely honest, have not been on the game since like Thursday. Um, but yeah, guys, we do have some new content. Just kidding. We don't have content. We have Aftermath of the Market Crash, which in my opinion is new content because you're making that MT. We're going to make a ton of MT in this video. We are going to show you how much MT I made off of all my methods um, in this video so far. So yeah, before we get into it, make sure to smash that like button. We will announce the giveaway winner in this in the comments for this video. I did not get to do it in my last video because... I was working all day. It was a long day. I literally didn't even get to choose a winner. So I'm going to announce it in this video. It's going to be in the comment section down below. So make sure to check that out. Guys, 20,000 MT giveaway every video. So make sure to smash that like button. Let's hit 80 likes on this video. Um, aftermath of the market crash has been solid. Uh, if you guys don't know, over the last couple of days, the market crash has been very, very dead. We're going to go all over it. We're gonna, I'm going to tell you what I got. What cards I sniped, what cards I sold, all that good stuff. So let's get into it. So um, we did just spin the wheel. We got nothing. We got uh, 180 or 1,800 MT for spinning the wheel after seven days of logging in. That was a big L. But let's go into my auction. So if you guys can see, I bought a ton of Erwin Rose because I do feel like he is going to go up in price. Before I do show you my earnings, let's check Mr. Erwin Rose price. Hopefully he went up. Even if he went down, I'm buying more. That is a buy right now. All right, so I'm stocking up on Earls. Okay, he's gonna go up in value very soon. Just gotta be patient. He's already sitting at around 11, and these just got posted. So guys, if you're watching this video, you have not got any Earls, just get ready, because he's gonna start rising. He is still a little, a little common. Just wait, you gotta wait out like a little, a week or so. But uh, yeah, this is what I sold so far. Now, this is not just what I sold. I've sold a lot of other cards, as you can see. Literally two videos ago, I had 5 KMT, now I'm at 109 KMT, and I have everything written down in front of me on what I sold. So, what this is what I did. So, first off, if you guys do not know, the Legacy Packs, uh, they dropped the Legacy Packs, like all the Legacy players, like the Bill Walton, they dropped the Bernard King, George Mikan, all in packs. So, what happens when they drop packs? Cards go down in value. So, when those cards dropped, those um, the Legacy cards dropped... They went down in value a lot. What happened in the first hour or two, I picked up a ton of diamonds. For instance, Jamal Mashburn, George Mikan. I missed a Bill Walton for a 95K buyout. He's like 130K. I picked up a ton of Jamal Mashburns, which was honestly the biggest dub for me. I got all my Jamal Mashburns for 22K to 20, 20 to 22K. And I sold two so far for 36K. I still have a couple more to sell. So right there, uh, if I got them for 22K, let's just say, Minus reduction. I made about 11k off each Jamal Moshburn. I've sold two and I still have two to go. So dubs right there. We made 22k just off Jamal Moshburn alone. This is all in one day. All these cards that you see is all from the legacy day. I'm not even kidding. Next up, we got George Mikan. We got him for a whopping 50k. It was in my video. Pretty much all these cards that I bought were in that video, I believe, three days ago. So you go check it out. I either got him for 50 or 55k. But either way, I made 20k clean. I made 20,000 MT off one diamond card, George Mikan. I knew it was going to be a goodbye. Um, he's one of the rare diamonds in the set. So I figured if he's going for 50k and he's rare, he's got to go up in value. And look at this. I sold him for 80k. I'm going to make about 20,000 MT clean off this one card. So right now, we made about 42,000 MT off three cards. Okay. That is honestly a personal record. 42k MT off three cards. I did this all in the 10 minute video. No joke, there was no edits. It was 10 minutes, I bought all these cards. I made 42K just from those three cards. Nonetheless, I got AD for 15K. So I made 22K, 5K off him. So we got 47K made. We also have all of these cards. I got Dave Bing for around, what was it? I got him for 28K, it was in my video. Let's go check out his price. I did, it's a good time to sell. You know why? Because at nighttime, if you're watching this, at nighttime, go ahead and sell. For some reason, well, it makes sense because everyone's sleeping, but at nighttime, everything goes up so much. Like, it's crazy. Right now, Dave Bing's rocking around 41K. I got him for 28K. After the reduction, I'm going to make another 9K clean. If I sell him, let's just say I made 55K. It's really more than that, but 55K off what? Four cards? 
No, five cards because they're AD. So that's dubs as well. Right now, market is definitely continuing to rise. So we are still making that MT. But yo, these legacy cards rose a lot. Probably 30% more. Like 30% extra. They have rose. It's a great time to sell. Not the greatest time to buy. If you really are really, really... If you just went on a giant pack opening and you really, really want to buy MT, do not buy MT. I mean not buy MT. do not invest in any cards it is not a good time to buy i'll go over a little bit of the auction but this is pretty much just a video of what i made so far so i would make uh if the date being sells for that price it'll be 55k with the stuff that just sold already 44k but i also sold jamal moshburns okay i also sold two jamal moshburns for 35k and i got them i got all of them i picked up four or five in the video i got all of them for 22k and under so if you do the math, I have 55k and I sold another two Jamal Moshburns. So I've made, if I made 10k, let's just say I made 10k, not 11k. So 55, I made 75k for uh, 40k off four Jamal Moshburns. I don't know. And then I still have these two other Jamal Moshburns. So Dub's there. He's up to 37k right now after that one expires. Sometimes, since Jamal Moshburn isn't the most uh, exciting 2k player, it could take some time to sell, but he will sell eventually. Um, I've been trying to post him up a little bit. It's kind of sometimes tough to sell him, but yo, he's, he's good. He's not a bad diamond. Maybe if you want to put him up for 35k, he'll sell faster. But right now, do legacy, legacy cards, any card in the game is up like, I would say double, not double, probably like 30, 40% more. Um, let's go over the market a little bit. So let's just say I made around 75k off a 10 minute video. So Listen, you guys don't have to believe me, but all my evidence is literally in the video. So go check that out because that video was great. I literally sat on the market, talked about it, and just simply bought every legacy car. I had like 300k there, and I just bought every legacy car. So I was like, yo, legacy car, legacy car, George Mikan. And then, yo, if you watch the video, I missed the Bill Walton for 95,000 MT, bro. I missed it. I was like, yo, I had, not, I don't know. He was uh, 99K. I had 95K on my screen. I went to go quick sell stuff, went back, he was gone. And he's going for like 130. So I would have made like 20K there. But uh, yeah, so this is, I'm, I'm saying we made 75K and I didn't even sell any of these cards yet. So we're really going to make over 100,000 MT. No joke. Because we have a lot of other things that I did snipe out. But yo, over 100,000 MT just off that. Um, I mean, it's crazy. Um, a hundred thousand MT of a ten minute video. If you guys listen to that video, I know a lot of people did because that video did very well. I got a lot, a of, lot of likes for it. I got a lot, a lot of likes. Thank you guys for the support. But um, yeah, you guys been loving the MT videos, so I'm just gonna keep pouring them out. I do want to get some gameplay. If you guys want to see gameplay, pack openings, all that good stuff, let me know, bro. We're on the grind. YouTube grind will never stop. I will be on YouTube forever and ever. One day, it will be my job. So I want to keep my dreams coming, and I want to keep posting for you guys. Personally, I love it. It's so much fun to post videos, and yeah. So let's go. We're going to do a little two-minute market action. I'm going to go over quickly, quickly, quickly over the Amethyst Filter and the Diamond Filter. So let's get into it. Amethyst Filter. Uh, right now it is very high. So if you did get NBA 20 cards, go ahead and sell them. Like I said, Harden was 12k in my video two days ago. He's at 19k now. If you got him, congratulations. He's at 19k. So don't be scared when the market crashes because it always does go up. Because no, once content comes out, it crashes. When there's no content for a week, like I said, the content it's Friday today, so no content drop. Like I said, means the market's just gonna rise. There's no packs to pop. Nothing. So just take advantage of my methods and also. Before we end this video, I'm going to give a little method uh, on the diamond filter. Um, let's see. is it? It's pretty much time to sell. Since I have Mad Earl Monroe's, I'm going to do exclude user own cards enabled. And uh, it looks like diamonds have went up because usually you'd see like a car there. And yeah. So diamonds have went up. If you see only Austin Car in this filter, it means that diamond cards are high. So guys, market is back up to pretty much normal. Um, it's a great time to go and sell, man. It is a great time to make that MT. Go ahead, hit the auction block, sell your cards, make that MT. Let me know how it goes. Lou Hudson's up a ton. I, I sold two Lou Hudson's that I forgot about. Got them for 25K, sold them for 35K. I got two of them. I sold them for 35K and two of them. They were both in my video too. Go check out the next video after the other video. I think it was two days ago and the other video was three days ago. So go check out all those vids. I have a ton of auction auctions in there. So check it out. Hope you guys enjoyed though. I'm no fraud. I have all the proof in all my videos. So go check them out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Nonetheless.
Peace.